Hey everyone, happy dude here. And does more tension spring mean more FPS? Let's find out. Now I know I already made a video where I showed you how to open the Don Wesson up and then put more tension on the spring inside with this nut that is in here. I've placed it there so you can turn this and that way you will get more tension spring and therefore the hammer should hit harder onto the valve and that way it will open up a bit more and a bit longer and that should mean that you will get a higher FPS because the bullet will have more power to shoot out. That's the idea anyway. Now in the last video I showed you that there wasn't that much of a difference and therefore I want to give it, it, give it another try. So I want to do a better test but this time a before and after with two new CO2 capsules so we can be absolutely sure that it does work or it doesn't work all right so i will remove this so now the gun is completely original and let's put a fresh CO2 capsule in there. Okay. And now let's find out how much FPS it generates now. All right, let's start it up. And let's see what we are getting here. Okay, so we had 10 shots that were registered. If we count them up and divide it by 10, we get a average FPS of 426.7 FPS. Okay, now let's put some tension on the spring. And I don't know if you noticed, but I waited five seconds between each shot to make it fair I have a timer with me and we are going to do the same once there is more tension on there first I'm going to turn until it goes no further okay now we are going to replace the CO2 can. I'm not going to cut this video so you know I'm not cheating. Ooh, oh, that's nice and cold. 
It's so warm here. A new can. Okay. Now one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten turns. That should be enough to see a difference. I do not advise to go any further. And I also don't advise to store it like this. Because the spring is going to wear out and also I think the mechanics inside I don't think it's healthy to do but for you guys I'm going to do it just for science all right let's test it I am very curious right now All right, let's try another six shots and let's see what happens. All right, let's go. No, 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 that 2500 FPS, that doesn't count. <laughs> but just before that I saw 351 FPS. Okay, so luckily we also had 10 shots that were registered. So if we count them up and divide it by 10, we get an average FPS of 410.3. So that's actually 16 FPS lower. Okay, since my equipment is already out, I want to see how the cold peacemaker performs in this hot weather. Because in the last video, it showed that this cold is actually more powerful than the Don Weston. Let's see how much FPS we are getting now. Okay, so the Don Weston is still the most powerful BB revolver that I have. The thing is, when you are shooting stuff like cardboard or a dinner plate or glass or a plastic plate or whatever, there can always be a um, weak spot in the material itself or you're shooting at a slightly different angle and then the results can be very different so that's why 
it's always better to test it with e ballistic chronograph this thing doesn't lie okay guys i hope you liked the video if you did please give it a like and subscribe to see more and you all have a nice day bye